apparently Greg didn't turn the sound on. So, um, hello, let's start that again, shall we? Um, hello, Lisa and Sandy and John and Kathy and Carmen and Jen and Gina and Christina and Amanda and Stacy and Deborah and Sandy and Anne and Wendy and Jay and Bernice and Brenda and Bethany, the other Bethany, uh, Sandy, Jen, hello, hello, Pam is here, Lisa, so many of you joining in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm going to start that again. Welcome to the Hedgehog Hollow. I am Alexandra, the founder of both the Hedgehog Hollow and Maker Forte. Hedgehog Hollow was where we started with a YouTube and a blog and all that kind of stuff. And Maker Forte is now my maker supplies company that I've collaborated with some of the best makers around to create some super cool products and also brought my background of engineering into it all. And tonight is Mr. Maker Monday on a Tuesday with Mrs. Maker. Yes, I know. Totally back to front. But it's all good. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And we have, yes, Lisa said, a beautiful, beautiful sunset in the background there. Um, it has been crazy busy. Um, and it feels like it's been forever. So I'm excited to spend some time with you and to chit chat and show you some new stuff that I've got over here. And uh, Lisa is here, Lisa A. And Lisa is actually now part of the Maker Forte team. She's working with Bethany. She's amazing. Thank you, Lisa. You have uh, changed Bethany's life. What I hear every day is how amazing you are. So thank you for that. And yes, Sandy, it has been forever. So if you are new here, do drop me a comment. Let me know where you're tuning in from. And of course, say hi if you are a regular. Don't forget to hit subscribe and ring the bell. And do give us a thumbs up as well. It's something that doesn't cost you anything, but it really does make a big, big difference to us. So I am really happy if you do that as well. Oh, hey, Bethany. She said, yes, Lisa is awesome. So um, literally hot off the press. I think we turned the vulcanizer off. 30 minutes ago, I have tonight's stamps because I was, I'm trying to think where I've been. So last week I was in Phoenix at a conference um, that Maddie and I are involved um, with a company and they had their conference last week and it was amazing. Um, we met some insane people. If you've ever heard of Caleb Maddox, he is the youngest self-made millionaire in the US or one of. Um, he makes the most amazing motivational videos for kids. He writes books. I think he's now maybe 19 or 20 and he's a multi, multi millionaire. An amazing guy. We met um, a Super Bowl champion, an NFL champion. Um, he was speaking like most amazing things. Um, we met Russell Brunson. We met all kinds of amazing people who I'm so grateful that Maddie has those opportunities as well. So yes, I was in Phoenix. The team here have done an amazing job holding up the fort for me. And then before that, I'd been in England with Bev with my mom, Beverly, and I've been somewhere else as well in the US. I don't know. Oh, Orlando. I saw lots of you at the show in Orlando as well. So I've been there. And then I'm here tomorrow and we're packing up to go to the next stamp fest in Orlando. So is anyone coming to Orlando this weekend? We have a make and take Friday night and then we'll be there all day Saturday and half of Sunday in Kissimmee. Um, and I actually have a surprise. I'm taking the team for a team building day and to meet some of my favorite people at Universal on Thursday. So I told them that setup day was Thursday, not Friday. So as a surprise, I'm taking them there as well. Um, so it's going to be so much fun. Hopefully they're not watching the live because, um, yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, Brian. Delina's here. Carmen. Um, hey, Amanda. Welcome. Yes, you will love it here. We are a family as well. Um, so tonight is about Mr. Maker stamps. And Mr. Maker is more the masculine side of stamping. It is more the mixed media grungy stuff. And this month's collection we put together in mind with also summer camp. So for those of you who are doing summer camp with Eileen Hull and uh, Maker Forte, we are making travel journals, recipe journals, family journals, some kind of book slash journal. So you're going to find that the stamp sets we're going to use are going to be along that vein as well. And I'm going to need some help from Lisa or Bethany because I have each stamp set in a cute little box here. I don't actually know which each one's called because I didn't get the inserts. So I literally have made them. The first one I'm going to use is the one that has these in it, Bethany, if that helps. So, um, yes. Lisa says, I can say I have such a greater appreciation for everything that goes into bringing 
you everything from Mega Potty. Oh, thank you, Lisa. We really do try it. And as you've seen, we have an amazing team who really do hold it all together. So I can do all of these things and come to the shows and meet everyone. I'm going to be up at Stamp Valley Scrap in Wisconsin um, later in the summer teaching. I'm teaching an event in Cleveland, Georgia. Um, so I'm not, you're going to have lots of opportunities to kind of meet up and chat and learn and all those kinds of things. And also, um, I was at scrapbook.com because Maker Forte is at scrapbook.com. And there's a really cool freebie there right now as well. Um, and I did a video with it. Go check out the video on their channel too uh, later. But um, I did some filming there. And then I went to Bo Q and we're going to do some more trunk shows and all those kinds of things. So lots and lots of fun things as well. Um, Campus says, I'm getting packed to go to Florida to my dad's house and my sister and to prep it eventually to be sold. Um, hey, Alicia. Um, Lisa says, I missed the first what, night of camp. Don't worry, Lisa. You can watch it again, catch up. But we did miss you. Um, I got one of my orders today. The other supposed to be here later this week. She's so excited. And um, Amanda says, hi, she is from New Bern. Started following me through a recent stamp workshop day. Um, probably the CMSS one that Brandy hosted. So yes, how many of you here are mixed media crafters or something like something a little bit grungy or maybe you like to make cards for masculine things or you're looking for something just a little bit more collagey and different. Maybe you make books with Eileen Hull. Um, I need to grab a Misty, that's what I was looking for. I was just popping over here. I'm gonna hop up and get it. So leave me a comment, let me know. Um, this. And some cardstock. Lisa says, I was signed out of everything. Uh, the first is arts and letters. Is that the one that's got like the postage pieces in it, Lisa? Thank you. Um, ah, yes, arts and letters stamp. Thank you. Um, let's see. Elizabeth is a mixed media creator. Angela wants to learn more mixed media. Nesta loves masculine cards. Connie loves grunge. So lots of you loving that. So I'm just cleaning off my Misty here. So we can stamp out these awesome stamp sets. So here is my Misty right here. So in this set, we have these pieces. And these reminded me of something like that Eileen Hull already has with her postage and things. So I thought if we're doing the journals, this would be a really, really good add-on. Um, so I'm going to just put a piece of cardstock in. We're going to stamp each one out just so we have a little bit of a reference. So, and bear in mind that I do not cut the stamps you actually get. Um, Cody would ban me from the garage if I did that. There's a little uh, mini uh, alphabet grid in here as well. We have Imagine. Tons of stamps in this one. We have a big post box. This one's called Letters. Hopefully this is all going to fit on one piece. This one says Altered. And this also says Altered, but it's a smaller and it's different font. And yours come all nicely cut and on acetate and all those kinds of things. Hey, Jen, it's her first time here. Welcome. Uh, happy Tuesday, Francine. And... I'm nearly there. There's still three elements. So sometimes I'm going to have to fit these on here. Um, Bethany, the other Bethany says, I absolutely love making grunge and masculine cards. Awesome. I think you are going to love these, Bethany. Um, somehow I've got to fit these on here. So I also have to peel the backing off. Okay. So this is the mini letters. I'm going to pull this down here. And I wonder if I can just, there we go, squeeze that art in there. Look at that. That is, I mean, that is a full stamp set that you've got right there. And I'm going to just grab out some tartan teal and ink these up. And I'm almost mushers, so I'm just going to hope I can do a good job with my hands. My hands actually really hurt, I think, from traveling a little bit. Um, <laughs> Bethany says it's a fine art to fit them all on. There we go. So that's your first one. So this one was called, um, 
arts and letters. Okay. Um, so here, so you got. I love this grid. Look at this. Isn't this cool? Like, imagine you could either cut them out or you could. Um, I missed a bit, but I bet if I now stamp this again, I'm going to really mess this up. But I'm going to have a go. Yeah, not too bad. Um, you could maybe color in. So you could do like I heart you or you and me or I don't know, some cool stuff. You've also got these pieces here. Great for bullet journaling. You can make them like postage stamps. You can use it with Eileen Hull's postage. You also have the four quadrants down here. You've got imagine. Look how the detail though in that letters. I mean, look at that. So beautiful and you never get this with photopolymer this is definitely a uh, part of um having the white rubber and of course nice bit about white is one it cleans up beautifully and you can also see what you've put on it you've got imagine collage altered art art and then you've got the other letters down here as well so hey olivia welcome to membership in the channel thank you so much um we have that option open to you get some cool badges exclusive emojis those kinds of things um, and really it just helps support us to bring you cool content and designers and summer camps and all that kind of amazing stuff. So there is card number one. Then let's see what we have next. Okay. So... All right, I need to know what one with the fountain pen nibs is called, please, ladies. Um, so here you have three nibs. And this one is a strip of four. And we have this really cool background. And I have a huge appreciation for what uh, Cody and um, Chris do to make these look so awesome and cut them out because it took me forever to just cut these out. And I cut out with scissors. They cut them out with scroll saws and things. So I'm very grateful for them. All right. Um, check the new member highlight. Inked well. That's what it's called. Um, here I'm using some neon lights to stamp them out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just keep this going here for a sec. That is hi from Los Angeles, Hedgehog Hollow fan. It's been so long since I made a live. And I've missed all you. We've missed you too. And I, I haven't been around that much either um it's been super super busy um with all kinds of things as well so it's just been you know oh congratulations sandy today amanda was not only nominated but won the humanitarian award that is absolutely amazing congratulations she is doing some great things sandy you must be so proud of her um what's a little bit light let's pick something out of darker Go with this. Um, he's just got some other commitments. That's all. Okay, so this one here is called Inked Well, and this here is from a waterproofers. It's an India rubber and lawn tennis manufacturer in Conduit Street, one door from New Bond Street. So New Bond Street is in London, which you all know I love my London. And Conduit Street is where actually the hotel I always stay at in London is right next to New Bond Street. So I love that we had this here. It was for waterproof cape, I think it says. Um, and it's stamped and everything. It's from the 9th of May, 1900. Isn't that cool? So cool. Um, and then you've got your ink wells and your ink nibs. I actually originally stamped this with neon lights and then added flamingo over the top because it was a bit light. But look how I have that really cool fade between blue, purple, and pink. Isn't that a cool way to do it? Like just, 
as a background and then to work off of this, I think that is so, so good. Um, all of that as well. Thank you, Lisa. She said not to mention your graduation from school. I don't think I've even been on it since I graduated from school. Um, I finished a qualification at Harvard Business School, which I worked super hard on. And I was so grateful to the team here, to Bethany and everyone, because they held down the four. If you wonder where I've been and what I've been up to, I've been working super hard on getting that certificate. So, um, yes, I graduated as well. Uh, will I ever have more ink? Olivia, we have a new color every single month. Um, and I have news coming up on the white as well. So stay tuned on that. But, yes, we have a color every single month. Um, color pops, I think, ship. Thursday. We were waiting on one last item. Um, but the color that will be in your color pop is called Pit Stop Pink. I can't tell you how excited I am. I wish I had one here. Um, but I haven't added it to my rack that I'm taking to Orlando with me. So again, I'm just setting this one up here as well. Um And then do stamp sets now come with printed images on the backup? If not, can we do it? I was trying to figure out. Yes, it does come in. So your inserts will have pictures on the backup. Um, I mentioned at the beginning, these are literally hot off the press. They came off the vulcanizer less than 30 minutes ago because Cody had been traveling to a conference with me and he makes all of our rubber stamps. And he was at scrapbook.com meeting them and we were doing some stuff. So he hadn't had a chance to vulcanize these yet for me. So he made up some sets this afternoon afternoon for us too um yes olivia we add one color every single month i think we're up to maybe someone can tell me like 40 something colors so yes lots and lots of colors out there um let's see um congratulations thank you yay for white uh did i say i got my mba i did not get an mba but i did get a harvest business school uh qualification um let's see 41 colors gina says yes there's now 41 colors um just bought unicorn there we go okay so Here is this one here. Someone's going to have to tell me the name. I'm going to, I'm going to forget the names, girls. I'm so sorry. Um, postcards from afar. There we go. Postcards from afar. That's what it's called. Um, just inking this one up. Oh, I forgot to put my phone on silent. Just do that. Okay. So this one's a little bit light. So I'm going to do the same thing and see what happens as I did last time. I'm going to take, so this was Lady Liberty, which is one of my favorite colors. And now I'm just going to go over it with some Vegas strip. Okay. I got that right. I don't know. Um, Jen says she made it. Hey, Jen. She wouldn't let herself sit down in the craft room until she cleaned the rest of the basement. <laughs> oh, look how cool that is. So there's our first technique. Oh, I can't pick this up. First technique of the evening. Um, can't wait to get my nails redone tomorrow. There we go. So I did it first of all with Lady Liberty and then I added um, Vegas Strip on the top. And look how cool it is. I look down here, how I kind of got that ombre effect. So start off with your lightest color and then um, ink up with the second one. Like look at the word postcard. Do you see all of that in there? That is so cool. So cool. Um, so this one is called, I saw Bethany put the link down for us, it's called Postcards from Afar. Um, and 
turning my phone off and saying, I'm live, I'll come back to you in a minute. Um, so yes, isn't that cool? Mixing the two colors. So they're the three new stamp sets we're gonna play with this evening. And as I say, in the back of your insert, you will have pictures of what they look like stamped out. But for this, I'm doing just a reference panel as well so we can pick out some stuff. And as I say, I picked these particular ones because I thought they would go really well with your journals that you're making with Eileen Hull in Summer Camp, for those of you who are doing it, because you've got travel journal, travel postcard, post, bon voyage, passports, postcards on here. Um, okay, just got, you've got art, imagine, collage, altered, um, nibs, inks, backgrounds, so all those kinds of things. And they um, all will coordinate beautifully with your journals. They will coordinate um, beautifully with the papers that were in there as well. Um, so all those kinds of things as well. Exactly, Francine. So I really, really um, try to do something that would complement it really well because you can use the letters, you can make altered collage, art collage, you know, all the, whoops, all those kinds of things as well, um, as well. So I think, picture those ink bottles as little vases. That's a great idea, Lisa, I love that. Um, so yeah, so we really picked out these kinds of things to work beautifully with your summer camp ideas. But I wanted to play around more with the idea of doing a little bit of a tag with you this evening. So who wants to sit together and make a cool tag with these stamp sets? Does anyone wanna join me? We'll make a, a cool kind of tag and mess around and have some fun and whatever. Um, let me know. I'm just picking up my stuff I dropped. Um, Bo says, I like the ink wells match the fountain pens he did earlier. Yes, um, that's exactly it. That's the way we do it is we try to always build on things as well. Um, so that's that as well. Uh, Deborah says she loves to make tags, Bo does. Um, Jen says tags are awesome, yay tags. Awesome, well let's make one. I'm gonna aim for one, we'll see how we get on. Um, together. And I grabbed out some supplies because I wanted to play with some stuff. And we're going to start off with using the gray tags, the Maker Forte gray tags. On there. So these are gray shipping tags, the number eight tags. And they're a really good base to get you started. So I'm going to use a little bit of smushing here and some kitchen towel. Everything clean, and I'm just going to use this old rag right here. Um, Maddie, are you out there? No. Apparently, she's not out there, even though she's answering me. Um, kids these days. So you can use anything for smushing. Even the bottom of your misty works really, really well. Um, Can you text Cody the code to your the old Zoom phone, please? Well, send him some suggestions. Thank you. You set the code. Okay, we'll send him some suggestions. I know what to stop there. Well, figure out, please, babe. What would you set the code? Like this one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it that one? I don't know. And text him what yours would be. Um. Maddie is a great personal assistant. If anyone needs a personal assistant, I'm just going to recommend Maddie. So <laughs> she's also starting her own business, so she might not want to do that, but she's very good at it. Uh, so here I'm just putting this down on here as well. And <laughs> I just saw Bethany and I thought, bundle price is $1.99. I'm thinking, oh, cool. <laughs> So what I've done here is I put down neon lights, tartan teal, and lady liberty, and I'm just going to take my tag, and even with the gray, look how cool this starts to kind of build up already. So there is layer one. Does Maddie like children? I like, I need a personal assistant. She does. With this conference we were at, she was amazing. She was on stage and all sorts of things. I'll share some links on the Facebook page um, on Maker Forte. I've been sharing stuff and I'll share some more. 
Rachel Pedersen and Russell Brunson and all these people. And even though she was busy networking and building her business and everything, she still was the favorite with every single child there. Like they were playing with her and chatting with her and she was having so much fun. It was really good to see her like that. I'm also just gonna add like some smidges across here. Like this is some tartan teal I'm putting on. And some Lady Liberty. Tilly can be Maddie's assistant now. Uh, Lisa, she is going to build something called a sales funnel um, for some really cool people to help them sell like their books and all kinds of stuff that they they sell. Because she's really techie. She can code in, um, I want to say, 12 different languages. I don't know. But there's a guy there who's teaching her Ruby on Rails and like all sorts of stuff. So really, I'm kind of sticking with the same palette. I'm just adding more color on, and particularly as it's damp right now. Look how cool that is already starting to build up as well. Um, I don't know if she's come up with a name for her business yet, but yes, it's going to be co custom coding, uh, something called a sales funnel for some really cool people. I'm really proud of her. So she's done an awesome job. I'm just adding a bit of racing green in. And then I'm going to even it out with some high park. And you can add as many or as few colors into this right now at this stage as you want. And you see I'm kind of going quite complimentary, like the blues, the greens, that kind of stuff. Like that. But look at that as a base for a tag. I really like those color combos. What do you all think? Not my usual color combo. Um... Oh, thanks, Bo. Uh, she says she listed to my in listened to my interview. I will also um, post some stuff that Maddie's been up to. And if you want, so I mainly post on Maker Forte. We post the craft stuff. Anything about me, my family, the business side, I post that on Hedgehog Hollow as well. So you can check out both of those. So that's kind of like stage one right now. Um, and I'm going to grab out my splat box, which is like the best invention ever. And I'm going to use... Has anyone ever used Resist Distress Spray? Um, it's really cool. We have it in the store. Just trying to get the plastic off of it. it takes me a second. So I'm going to give this a good shake. Now, this stuff is really cool. You can use it with like one of those foam daubers. You can use it in the spray form like this. You can spray it through a stencil. You can spray it free form, which is kind of what we're going to do. So I kind of, you see how that looks? It's going to go clear really fast. And then you're going to turn it upside down, give it a really good spritz like that and make sure it's nice and clean and that your nozzle is completely empty. Because if it is not, you will be buying Mr. PhDs all the time or Mr. Perfects all the time because this stuff will gunk up the nozzle. So make sure you turn it upside down, spritz, spritz, spritz in the corner like that. And then just use a cloth and wipe off your excess, okay? That's really, really, really important as well. Um, yes. So I'm making sure I keep up on comments as well because I need this to dry for a second. Um, Lisa says, have it, haven't used it. Uh, no, but sounds like something I need to add to the wish list. Um, how long before you have Tim Holtz with new color? I think it's available for pre-order. Is that right, Bethany? Um, Sandy says, love spray. They use a shimmer spray and cuts in on my Cricut and overlay the spray background. That sounds really cool. Um, and Bethany says she will check shipping. Um, yes. So but we may be able to, I don't know, can we do a pre-order on it as they've been ordered? Um, I don't know. They'll have to let me know what I can do. So you can see on here, it's already nearly dry and it's going to dry glossy. So even if you just spray it on and 
with it. Do you see how it's already added that really cool texture to my card? Even though I just, I haven't even done anything. Literally, I just sprayed it on. It adds like this cool leathery texture. It changes the color a little bit. So even just as a little texture medium, this is a super, super cool spray to do. As I say, you don't have to spray. Just take one of those little foam, you know, the um, these things. Like these things right here. Take these. Um and just spray some onto your surface or tip some out onto your surface, pick it up and create big circles with it or just rub it through a stencil, spray it through a stencil, all that kind of stuff as well. Um, so all of that is an option. Okay, the cool thing, so one is it can go like this. I'm gonna give this a quick blast with the heat gun. You do not want too much of the heat gun though um, because it will go badly wrong. Trust me, I know it has an acrylic base in it. So the acrylic will bubble if you overheat it. You just want to dry it. So my suggestion is give it a dry like this. And then if you feel it needs a bit more, dry it from underneath. Okay. So quick dry and then dry from underneath. And now, now it's ready to go. So, yes, yeah, so Lisa's put in the information about that as well. And if you have insider shipping, then of course you can place as many orders as you want because our insider VIPs not only get cut files to all of our stamps, but they get unlimited free shipping in the store, which I think is kind of cool. That's probably the best perk of all of it. Um, so the one thing you can now do is you can add more layers. So you could smush. You could just go direct to paper. You can go in with a brush. And anywhere where I've got like really good kind of patination, I'm going to start off with neon lights. And then I'm going to figure out what colors I want to do next because I kind of have an idea in my head, which is always bad going into a project because it's never going to turn out that way. But do you see how that little bit of color has now made that pop even more? And now you can really see where I kind of got the spritz, that leathery effect, all that kind of stuff um, going on. Um, I'm going to now go on the edge a bit more like this. So I'm just working on my edge right now. And I'm working like the smallest area possible, as you probably realized, but it's okay. okay. So again, you can kind of start to see that this is coming together. And I want to show you how good of a resist it is. So I'm going to go wild and I'm going to pick out some... I was hoping for some sugar plum, but that's not in my little thing here. So I'm going to go tip tree jam. Carnation purple would have been good. This one. Plum tree. Everything's in the wrong slot because I've been taking this teaching everywhere with me. But that's okay. All right, we're just going to go with some straw tip tree jam instead because I want to show you what an amazing job this does of resist and how you can really play with this patination. And this is something we carry in the store. If you really want to clean it up well, just grab a little bit of water onto your cloth and look how it cleans up. It is clear. I would say it's mm, very translucent. It has a slight white tone to it. But do you see like how cool is that, that you can see all those colors underneath and how it resists and how it just really starts to kind of pop out like that as well, which I think is super cool. Um, I'm going to concentrate just a little bit more on these corners or edges, I should say, because I want to just blend together so things don't look. So what I'm doing is taking my blending brush and holding this. And now it's becoming more constellation-y. That's what it reminds me of. I'm kind of starting to see like 
the galaxy and that kind of stuff in it. Is anyone else seeing that in there? Um, I'm just playing around with colors right now. Yeah, see? This is so cool. It looks like alien space. Yeah, that's fairy background. Um, that would look cool with the princesses we just had come out. Like tons of cool stuff you could do with this. So what I just did was take that corner right there and add lots of Welsh Dragon. And I'm building up the ink a bit because the ink is sat on that resist and I almost can use it like a palette to pull it out, do you see? So I can then just take my brush and pull it out. Take my brush, pull it out. And it creates this really cool like fade and it also goes into all of that patination as well. Um, so I'm loving how this is coming together. It's actually even more vibrant in real life than that. And I tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this whole tag and at the end, someone who has ordered from this release, I'm gonna pick an order number, just a random one. And um, I'm gonna include this in your package. So someone is gonna get this in their package. Um, so I'm going to start with the postcard piece. I don't have a block that's big enough, but that doesn't matter either. It's not going to matter. And I'm going to start with some Cotswold green on it. And I'm going to start on the side. I'm going to work on a flat surface because it's probably going to be easier than one that keeps moving on me. And on this one, again, I'm going to go with some Cotswold and I'm going to like pump it up. See, a little bit of British Racing Green and go along the bottom here like that. Look how cool this is starting to come together. See, our layers are already. And I literally just took the ink that was already on there. I didn't even add more ink and I just stamped across it that way. You see? Oh, cool. All right. Let's see what else we've got in here that we might want to use. I think we'll want some of these. I definitely want a letterbox. But I think I want my bigger letterbox. Um, maybe some cool grid letters. And... We'll maybe call it postcard. Okay, so for this one, for letters, I'm going to pick out my tip tree gem. And make sure it's the right way up. Like so. A <laughs> space helmet on a llama con. I love that, Bethany. Look how cool that is. I'm going to do another one of those because I just love how that came out. Okay. We'll use a little bit of what's left on here. You don't want to waste any ink that's on our stamp. But I love how this is coming up. Do we need a special link for these products? I don't believe so. But Lisa and Bethany are here to let you know as well. Um, Lisa says, you hadn't all poked around the blog. You should. So many beautiful creatures. There really is. The team puts something out almost every single day. I mean, it's crazy. And the stuff they come up with, I'm like, I don't know where those ideas came from. They are just amazing. So here I'm going to do my nibs. And I'm going to grab a little bit of Grand Canyon out. Okay. And now because I have that, I'm going to soften this with my brush because anything that's on the resist is never actually going to dry. Okay. Not if you use a water-based ink. But do you see how it also just softens them into the background? So all of a sudden they went from being like center stage to being a layer, which I love adding that layer part. Okay, now if you do want to stamp on top, you can. I'm going to show you how. We're going to get 
out of our special drawer some Ranger Archival and this is Archival Black right here and so I'm going to just take this letter grid and stamp off to the side like that you see and now that's going to be on there permanently that's going to dry on top of the resist and not going to the background if you want to before it dries you can go over it and fade it out a little bit but most of that color is going to stay there you see how this is going as well um i hope you feel better soon wendy um so you absolutely have that option too then you can take something like postcard here and i'm going to do the same i'm going to use a little bit of archival and put it on here like so so you've got postcard at the top there and then i want to use that travel journal i really like that travel journal and i'm going to use um there are lots of colors of distressing we have some of them in the store i particularly like some of the um distress archivals i have them in big format they come in small too um, and some of the colors are really cool and they match up actually with color hive really really well so i'm going to use this travel journal put it down here and then that is a ready tag to go in your book and of course don't be afraid you know you can do the back of the tag too but how cool is that there's something very masculine yet very feminine because of the color choices i made but i love look at all that texture that's in there if you don't have this resist spray it is a really versatile thing it's not a make a forte product but it is in the store and i stock it because it says textured resist spray one i love it just to add texture two i love it because of the resist i love the fact i can stamp over it with archival if i want to as well um but like i just i don't know i love it i just really 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 love it um I kind of feel like I want something down here a bit more. Um, and I would like that to be black. I'm taking that mini letters that we had. I'm just going to tip it on its side like this. And add that on. And I'm just, while it's still wet, I'm going to just fuzzy it up a bit just to kind of add that little bit of extra dimension down there too. You could even go and cross them. And I actually, I really like how that came out because I don't know if you can see this, but you see here, the letters, it like goes up and down bouncy. It almost looks like cast iron, like the old mailboxes as well. Um, so that's really cool in there too. Um, so cool like that at that you can even you know if you i don't know if you've ever tried to do this but if you have a stamp like this letters one will work really well for this you can take your stamp and stamp the edge of your tags and stuff and rather than giving it uneven ink Like that and um, this time I'm just pouncing I'm not even rubbing I'm just taking up a little bit of excess ink look how that edge comes out like it was kind of off printed and so you can add interest to these in so many different ways like so many things now you can um, you know draw on top you can do all kinds of different things um, Rebecca says she loves the colors on this tag right now. Me too. Like, I love this tag. I'm kind of sad I said I was going to give it away, but I am because trust me, I have a gazillion tags. I do not need another one. Um, so I'm going to grab my phone in a second. Um, you've probably got just a couple of minutes. Um, but I'm so happy to answer any questions. Does anyone have any questions about mixed media? Now, I am not a mixed media artist. I cannot proclaim to be. This is something I do for fun. I love it. I experiment. I play around with it. I do all that kind of stuff. And these are the kinds of things I make. Um, and I love all of this stuff, like, so much. 
Uh, I am usually that neat card maker who is very orderly, makes our layers, it's all straight cuts. You know, I have a system. It's even on your maker's surface pad. It tells you the sizes, it tells you the cuts, it tells you everything you need to know. Um, so the stuff I used, Alicia, was called Distress Resist Spray. That's what I used to give it that texture and things as well. What type of ink blending brushes do I use? Just Amazon cheapy ones. I tried doing my own, but I just feel like everyone's done them. I don't know. Um, for me, I like the bigger ones. And that's the only reason I may still do some is it's really hard to find. I love, I mean, when by big, I mean like really big and fluffy. And they are a lot harder to find. So that's what I use. Um, I will be writing a message on it, Alicia. Yes. So whoever it's for, I will write your message on the back uh, when I put it in your package. But like, look how cool that is. And I just love those colors too. I stuck to a pretty rigid palette because I kept everything here. It's Grand Canyon, British Racing Green, Welsh Dragon, Vegas Strip, Lady Liberty, Tip Tree Jam, those kinds of things. So I actually use teals, blues, pinks, and greens. And I added a little bit of grungy brown because who... Who doesn't love a bit of that as well. Um, see, so Jen says she loves the opposite. She loves the smaller ones. Do I have Copic marker videos? Yes, I have lots of coloring videos. Uh, take a scroll back. You can find those. Massive, beautiful tag. Thank you, Amanda. Um, <laughs> Sandy says you do a pretty good job at it. Well, thanks, Sandy. It's something I've had fun with. And it's the one place where, like, when I do this, I just let loose. I don't think of any of the standard rules. And you'll find I'm experimenting. Like we put two colors on there and stamped out and it came out really cool and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, can you show Dr. Greg's Father's Day card? Was it made this maker sense? I don't know what the girls picked. I wasn't here. I made sure everything was ready and done before I left and I let the girls pick out of our sample boxes. So I don't know. I think Tilly did make something with Marsha, but I'm not sure. Um, the tag is gorgeous, says Jacqueline. Thank you so much um alicia says bite my tongue but i like the green on that tag <laughs> that's a big deal for you alicia to say that so yes so there is my tag for tonight there is mr maker monday don't forget to hit subscribe and ring the bell and of course give us a thumbs up um stamps are now available as well and so that means i get to go and pick out um an order so let me load them up give me a sec Okay, I'm just going to see if there's anyone still checking out because I want to make sure everyone's included. So I'm just going to check. It says, there are three people currently checking out in the checkout process. So I'm going to give you another 60 seconds to complete your checkout before I pick a number. Um, and then what I will do is for anyone who is watching this and this is no longer live, um, I will pick another order and we'll put something fun in it. But somebody is going to get this tag and I will write them a message and hopefully you can include it in a summer camp journal or put it in a craft journal. Like, I actually have a tag Tim Holtz made me. It was way better than this. It has a ton of techniques. It's got alcohol inks and alcohol lifting and, oh my God, just so many layers on it. I still have it framed in my office in the other room. It's in my desk. So um, let's see. Everyone is shocked that Alicia is loving the green and not just blue because she's our blue girl. Um, is the bundle the only sale tonight? Yes, it is, Bo. Although it's $10 Tuesday. Uh, ladies, what's our $10 Tuesday? Does anyone, um, does anyone know? Oh, Jen says she has an Alex card sitting on her shelf with her albums. That is awesome. Um... Thank you for sharing your creation. Absolutely, Rebecca. I love it. Um, the sea stamp. Yes, the waves. That is one of my favorites. I can't wait. It's summer. I get to use it again. Um, and we also have a Christmas in July free event coming up. Um, details on that will be out towards the end of the week. So make sure you have hit subscribe or ring the bells because I'll be going live to tell you more about that as well. How is Tilly? She's good. Thanks, Bo. Um, she's just super tired and a bit cranky from traveling, from being in Phoenix. So she, um, yeah, she used to say, oh, the $10 Tuesday is the wave stamp set, the circle waves. Um, oh, there are only three $10 Tuesdays left. Bethany says, um, Lisa says, I'd love, 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 I'd love to tell you all the goodness, but I'm sworn not to. 
just one secret. It's called Caught in the Waves. Uh, it's usually twenty five ninety nine. It's down to ten bucks, and um, there's three left. Bethany says, so you want to get that in? All right, let's pick a winner, and it's time for me to go and do some Tilly tuck ins. Um, so, okay, let me go down to where it needs to start. Okay, so, oh, that was a, something else. Okay, I'm gonna go again. Okay, so the winner of the tag is Francine. Congrats, Francine. Um, I will write you a little message on the back, unless you don't want me to, you can let me know. Um, but Francine, I will write you a message on the back um, and you can, uh, and I will send that out with your package. Um, maybe if Lisa or Bethany can add it as an item into your order so the team remember to put it in because as you know, I'm leaving again. Um, but then I'm back for two-ish weeks, hopefully, if all goes well. Um, you would love a message. All right, I will get that done for you, Francine. Um, so congratulations. Thank you everyone for joining me tonight. Um, should I give away a gift card to you? Would someone like to win a gift card who's watching along? Shall we? Oh, thanks, Bethany. You're the best. Um, of course, Jen says. All right, so I'm going to take all of the YouTube comments. And if you are watching and you haven't yet commented, leave a comment right now. I'm going to give you like 10 seconds to type something. Um, whatever you want. Just write something, make sure you've given the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, rung the bell, write a comment right this second. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to pick someone to win away. <laughs> no, Lisa, I'm afraid you'll stunk up. <laughs> um, let's see. When is the next preview? I don't know. Um, Okay, Sandy says drum roll. All right, but I'm gonna count it. I'm gonna call it that that's it. So you've got till I open my eyes. And the winner is Amanda Rhodes. Congratulations, Amanda. We will get a gift card out to you. You need to email Bethany. So email Bethany at maker, M-A-K-E-R, forte, F-O-R-T-E, dot com. And she will send you your gift card. Okay, so congratulations and thank you because I know it's your first live too. So there you go, super lucky. Definitely a reason to come back again. And we always do giveaways in our lives. So it's well worth joining a live because you never know what you might win. It might be a tie, it might be a gift card, it could be a stamp, all sorts of things. So a couple of things I need to make sure you do. Give us a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. Ring the bell. Don't forget to grab your last $10 Tuesday. There was only three left. I think I just saw one come off my phone. So there's two left. And I will see you later in the week to tell you more about your free Christmas in July card making class. Uh, that's obviously going to be in July. And info will be coming out later this week. And I really hope to see lots and lots of you at Stamp Fest as well. So if you are there, come seek me out. I will be there with Chris and Cody. Cody makes all of your amazing white stamps. And Chris does all of the ephemera, the printing, the cutting, all of that stuff of it. So come meet the boys. I'm making them craft. They're making, they're doing the make and take with me. They are going to be the best assistants I've ever had. Um, they come very well trained, I think, because I trained them. Um, so come join us. I'm excited to meet you all. Thank you for joining us here as well. I have missed you all, but I'm super excited. And um, I am grateful for all of you. So thank you, everyone. I will see you very, very soon. And happy, happy crafting. And come join me later in the week. And if you're local, hop on over. Come see us in Kissimmee. And maybe you can even stop at Disney or Universal. Make a day of it. So I'll see you soon. Happy crafting, everyone. Ta-ra!